Hello, I'm 100% Jim and I have a question. Should you start playing New World again in 2022? Here are 22 reasons why maybe you should. And also one thing that's good is they got rid of the body blocking. As you guys can see out in the open world, you can run right through people. It's no longer a thing, which was like a massive cock in the ass. Like if you played the original game, you'd know that it was so fucking annoying. Stay to the end of the video and you'll be most handsomely rewarded. Let's go. Number two, trade skills are still capped at level 200, but there is now a new aptitude system that lets you receive bonuses and material rewards beyond level 200 for each trade skill. Number three, for PvP in the game, there has been a new mode added called 3 vs 3 arenas, which is a lot of fun and they are thinking of adding a 1 vs 1 PvP, which will also be cool. Number 4. They have improved the cities and the towns massively. I'll just let our friend AG show you. Oh wow. Oh, it shows the banner of the place that owns it. It's got a drawbridge. Doesn't really make a whole lot of sense since there's no moat around it, but okay. Holy shit. Number 5. Crafting in New World is vastly improved and they have added the ability to craft level 598 to 600 epic gear, items and weapons and the ability to craft your own player made armor and weaponsmithing gear. Number 6. The high watermark system has been replaced with the expertise system to get better gear and drops. Number 7. Fishing has been vastly improved, buffed and made a lot more fun and rewarding with fishing parties and events. You can now stuff the fish you catch and place them within your player owned home to show off to your fishy friends. Number 8. No more spamming looking for group. There is now a new dungeon finder to make it so much easier for you and your friends to create groups, lobbies and request people to join your dungeons and raids. Number 9. They have added groups and hotkeys in the key bindings to make healing group members easier. Number 10. They have added holiday events such as Easter, Summer, Halloween, Thanksgiving and Winter Festivals including crazy fishing events and unique world bosses. Number 11. Wars and invasions are still a lot of fun but now they have been improved to be less laggy and instance now you can sign up from anywhere at any time number 12 materia is a new resource that has been added to the game that you can receive when you break down unwanted dungeon loot to eventually craft the dungeon weapon of your dreams number 13 musical instruments have been added to the game such as flutes guitars mandolins drums bass it's like a Guitar Hero minigame with buffs and bonuses where you can loot song sheets or just play on your own. You can now even make a five person band with your friends and receive tips from other players. Here is a sample from your top streaming dude, Mr. AG. This is whack as fuck, give me that instrument bro, I'm better, I'm better, I trust, I'm better, I'm better. Great. This, yeah, this is what we call emergent gameplay. Number 14. They have added mutated dungeons to the game. Let me explain. After you complete a dungeon, you can unlock its mutated state from mutated level 1, which is normal, all the way to mutated level elite, which vastly adds to the replayability of dungeons by adding many changes to the original dungeon, including new mechanics, improved loot and items, new areas, mutated mob behavior, and much, much more. All this adds more challenge and replayability to the game. Also, two new dungeons have been added, Tempest Heart and the newest one, Barnacles and Black Powder which are really fun and look amazing. Number 15. Leveling has become slightly easier when you level from level 50 to 60 for new players compared to what it used to be and there has been new quest lines, activities and areas that have been added for new players. 
Number 16, a new weapon has been added called the Void Gauntlet, which is really fun. But also, they've added the Great Sword with more new weapons to come. Weapons and armor and items are also being rebalanced on every patch, mending perks and abilities to make the game a better experience for everyone. Number 17, at long last the devs are now listening to us. They are now giving us monthly dev updates, roadmaps, and if you give feedback to them through the test server, your ideas will be added to the game. Number 18, a new zone will be added in October which adds a new Egyptian themed zone to the land of Eternum called Brimstone Sands. Exciting stuff. Holy shit, so there's the zone. Wait, we can go this way, we can go this way. We can get closer by going this way. Holy shit. So that's going to be the new zone. That's a big ass fucking zone. Number 19. Outpost Rush has been vastly improved and rebalanced and is now much better. If you don't know what this is, it is a 20 versus 20 up to 45 minutes PvP match, which is a lot of fun. Number 20. Perks for items, weapons and abilities have been vastly improved. For example, they will be introducing indestructible perks to some weapons and ability perks which will massively boost the power of your weapon. Number 21. PvP quests were rubbish, but now they have been reworked and improved to be more engaging and fun for you to do. Number 22. World bosses or giant monsters have not been added in a big way, but Raffle Bones is a very unique world event boss that is really fun when you find him because he drops some epic loot and his mechanics make him a lot of fun to fight. Thanks for getting this far. Your gift is more reasons to play. Let's go. Please press subscribe to 100% Gym and smash the like hard because I often make videos like this and I would not want you to miss them at all. Number 23. There are still no plans to add mounts to the game even though people want them, but they have increased run speeds on roads. Just give us mounts for God's sake. They've also made fast travelling better so that's easier to do and costs a lot less, including lots more fast travel locations for you to use. Number 24. In the past you could only salvage items for repair parts, which was a bit crap, but now they have reworked it completely and you get a lot more from the system and it's really amazing. Number 25. You can transfer stuff from any storage now from anywhere on the map. In the past you had to travel to separate locations to access it and it was a pain in the ass. Now it's easier for you to do. Number 26. They have gotten rid of the crafting requirement for creating expedition orbs to enter expeditions and dungeons. Now you can enter the dungeon or expedition as long as you meet the level requirements which has really improved it for everybody. Number 27, they have increased the gear score of items and weapons to 625 from 600. You can do this using Umbral Shards. This gives you something to do to make you even more powerful towards the end game. Well, it's now September 2022 and the game has become a lot more popular with Amazon adding more servers but still not keeping up with player demand. You would have thought with them owning Amazon Web Services, the servers would be the best servers on the planet. Sort it out, Jeff. One question for you before I go, will you start playing again and why? Thanks for watching, see you later.